Good evening, everyone. Good evening. And welcome to the 2015 Annual Appreciation Program presented by Dr. Vivian H. Burke, Northeast Ward. And we are extremely excited about you guys being here with us today. We're going to follow the program as printed. And I am Reginald McCaskill, uh, representing Maximum Enterprises today, and excited about being here to take part of this most auspicious occasion. At this time, we will have our colors presented by PFC Private Robert Joyner III. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. I hope that you have your programs in front of you. We're going to follow them accordingly. We have quite a few outstanding guests and visitors with us on this evening, and they will be recognized at a, at a later time. At this time, we will have our invocation and blessing. Let us pray. Eternalized God, our Father, we come to you thanking you for allowing us to have the opportunity just to say thank you. We thank you for the brevity of life, health, and strength. We thank you for this occasion tonight in which we're going to celebrate pioneers of this community and youth of the community. We thank you for the vision of Dr. Vivian H. Burke and all that she represents. We thank you for the food we're now about to take, partake. Let it give us the nourishment that we need. Let us run a proper course through our bodies so that we can continue to edify you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say it. Amen. Amen. And at this time, we will have our welcome by Dr. Vivian H. Burke, youngest grandson, a student at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia, Logan Burke II. Good evening, and on behalf of the Burke family, I'd like to welcome you all to tonight's event in appreciating the youth and their outstanding efforts in the community. I'd also like to congratulate my grandmother and Vice Mayor Pro Temp, Vivian H. Burke, for her service to the city of Winston Salem and the Northeast Ward. That's all. Come on, y'all, give it up for him one more time, please. And and for his dad that's standing in the back, the Honorable Judge Burke in the back. Give it up for him as well. And his wife, would you wait right there? Thank you. Give it up for Ms. Burke as well. And we do have seats up in the front. And if you would, we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm looking at right here in the front. And you can be seated up in the front. At this time, we are going to have a selection, and all of us are going to take part of that. You have it in front of you. It is Joy to the World. And I'm going to ask that you stand so that we can sing Joy to the World. And being the choir director that I am, uh, I'm going to ask that you have jubilation in your voices when you lift up Joy to the World. You ready? Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every hour prepare Him rule. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reign. Let men their sons employ. What hills and flood, what hills and plain. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat, repeat the sounding joy. 
first verse again. Come on, give it to me. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let her receive her King. Let every hour prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature Give yourselves a hand. Okay, I would like the two chiefs to come up, uh, Chief Barry Roundtree and our Chief of Fire Department, if you will come and mail and have a seat at the head table, please. And as they are coming, I want to take this great opportunity to introduce to some and present to others Dr. Vivian H. Burke, who will bring remarks uh, for uh, this event on this afternoon, this evening. Uh, we're really excited about this appreciation program where she has the opportunity to bless and to show respect to those who have served this award so diligently throughout the past year. Uh, and for those who know Dr. Burke, know that when it comes to youth, they are very, very close to her heart. I, I said to her grandson earlier uh, about Dr. Burke being a pioneer, and the pioneers defined in Webster as a trailblazer. And for those of us that know Dr. Burke, she's been a trailblazer in this city for a number of events. I began to read her resume on the website, the city website, and I actually got tired. And I said, my God, I did not know that she did. And basically, she's an inventor. Uh, and I think we have to give her her flowers while she yet live. One of the things I do want to employ, and that is I did not see that she was the 2015 Pioneer Award recipient for the Minority Business Expo. But I'm pretty sure since I put it in the atmosphere, Dr. Burke will make sure that that's on the website uh, in the morning. Uh, so we are really excited. Give her a, right, give her a hand for that. Um, she's been very instrumental as it relates to minority businesses and women in minority businesses, not only in the city of Winston-Salem, but the state of North Carolina and the U United States as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I present to others, uh, to you all tonight, Dr. Vivian H. Burke. Give her a hand. Thank you, Mr. McCaskill. As I stand here, I stand here because of you. I am so proud and pleased of the youth we have here this evening. In fact, that's the purpose for this. And I am so grateful that individuals take time and let the youth know how much we appreciate you. To our advisors and individuals who work with them, thank you from the bottom of my heart. We love our children and we know that they can do, and we're proud of them. On this evening, one thing that I am going to do, uh, Sister Dolores Huntley, co-pastor of Alpha and Omega Church, we had a big celebration on Saturday, and we knew she had gone on to heaven. A person who made herself what she made herself, and loved and reached out and lifted everyone that she could. In the area where the church is located, she was into the homes, she saw the lost and the forgotten. And when I spoke at her church earlier, she was ill, but she was at the program. And I said how much I appreciate her. Because we know as elected officials, we can't be everywhere. But people help this city become partners to make a city a better place for all of us. And I talked about a scholarship. 
I feel like my husband is standing here right with me. He's in my heart. Y'all know that, don't you? And we know how much he loved working with people's children. We only had one, but we took them all to our home. We lifted them. We did whatever we could. And so we do have scholarships. We have an endowment at Winston State University. We have one at Elizabeth City where people so kind to me where I went to school on an academic scholarship, thank God. I was telling my grandson, I say, sometimes I'd worry with those people going to spend me the spending money, uh, when are they going to send it to me this month? <laughs> but I got through. And then we have an endowment with Logan Burke at the Presbyterian Foundation so we can help educate people. We always taught our son to be sharing and giving from the heart and lift and help people. So I said to, at the church, and Sister Young is back there, she did the eulogy, she understands what we went through. Yes, Ms. Young. That I was going to start a scholarship in Sister Huntley's name. And I want her son to come while I speak about this. <laughs> Bishop Huntley and co-pastor Huntley raised two fine children. I've represented them a long time in the Northeast Ward, North Woods, a state where they grew up. Very fine sister and a very fine brother. And his father is at church and cannot be with us, so he sent his son. So I want you to know that we are going to start this scholarship. And it will have certain guidelines. And we're looking at community colleges where people can get their education, get a degree, and come on out and start working. So I call on Pam Peoples a lot and Chris Mack, but we will be writing up the policy, and we'll be making other folks aware so they too can help. And we want the church, what I give, to match this scholarship. And the guidelines we'll have will be so to lift others, like these boys and girls, these young men and women. They want to go to school. Sometimes they need a little help. And I just want us to know this is the sun here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We're not here for a lot of talking. This is the youth's night. And believe it or not, Chris Mack and Pam Peoples Joyner, they, they have what I'm, what's going to happen tonight. They've done it all. All I've done is bring myself here. And it's so good to know that we have passionate people who enjoy their jobs. Our city manager is standing there, and he has his staff with him. Assistant City Manager, Rao, and then we have uh, Ms. Driver, Assistant City Manager, and of course, uh, we have some other, I saw Mr. Brooks here who works with the community. I don't want to get beyond myself because you all may go and do some things. When um, Private First Class Joyner stood up, he was a classmate with Logan. They finished Atkins. As Mr. Bell stands back there, his son also finished Atkins. His son and my son, they've been together from school also. So we see our children, and we hear what they're doing, and we're proud of all of them. So I want to say to, um, we have cows in this community, people who go out and help us. Uh, one of the persons who work with me very close this year, and I'm very pleased to see you, Miss Lucas, who've been in every house, a lot of families, lifting people, and I thank you for the passion you've had for your job and for the citizens in this city. And to the present person, Chris Mack, so they'll know you. And Pam Peoples Joyner, so they'll know you. And to the people who are preparing the food and I don't know where Walteria is. Walteria manages me. Yes. Walteria sometimes tried to think for me, but I tell her, watch out now. 
I just want you to know it's so wonderful to look at you and to everyone. And my good, dear friend, Neoma Jones, this is the lady whose resource center is named after Neoma. Let them know. <laughs> we thank you. We thank you. It is not about me. It's about us and our young folks, how much we appreciate them. Thank you. Again, give it up for Dr. Vivian H. Burke, Mayor Pro Tem. Again, it's uh, always about the youth in her eye, and we appreciate the labor of love. At this time, we will have recognition of educators and youth advocates uh, and youth presentations. Uh, uh, and at this time, I do want to acknowledge the principal of Conver High School, uh, Principal Taylor, if I'm correct. Would you please stand so you can be recognized? Travis Taylor. Welcome. And uh, Pastor Marshall and other pastors. Any other pastors in the, in the house, please stand. Any other clergy, please stand. Okay. Dr. Dr. Hood, Union Baptist Church. Any other clergy? Okay. Okay. And then, of course, we recognize the police chief and our fire chief. If you all would just wave one more time for us up there to talk. Okay, at this time we're gonna have uh, presenters uh, and they're gonna come up and just say what they're thankful for on this day. Uh, M-S-E-N, uh, youth, representing that particular youth component, if you would come up. And following that would be the Unity uh, group, youth group as well. So that they will know it is being Good evening. Certainly, I um, want to thank Dr. Burke um, and the city of Winston Salem for honoring uh, MSCN and our Ram Squad for each STEM club. We are so grateful to be here and to be a recipient of all of the programs that the city offers, as well as the resources um, that the city continues to offer us. So I think we may have a few of our students that are here. If any of our students are here, if you please stand. We may not have any. So we are really. Can you give us your name and grade in school? So again, we are just thankful to have the opportunity to partner with the city and all of its resources to help us present and deliver a great service for our young people. Thank you. And at this time we have a presenter from the Unity Youth Group, please. And following that, it will be a representative from the Mount Zion Church, Baptist Church. Um, we're thankful to be here, and we did the lawn care and leap. We rake leaves, and if it snows, we're going to shovel snow. And I know we have two other people here. If they can stand, please. And we're just thankful to be here. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Brandon Rogers and I'm representing Mount Zion Baptist Church. Will the people of Mount Zion Baptist Church please stand? And I'm thankful for my parents.
at this time we have a presenter from New Generation. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm thankful for it on the New Generation group um, and Miss Pam right here. And hey, how are you beautiful people today? Um, my name is Dante Friend. I go to Carver High School. I'm in the 10th grade. Um, I just want to talk about the next generation group that we have here that's, that's been going on. And I've never really been an open person until Miss Pam and Miss Julie came in my life. I just want to thank them for that. Um, she been helping with, she been helping us with our life and been making a big positive impact on us. And her, her son has been been a positive role model for us to get him a round of applause, please. Um, what we, what we have here is, is like a family. Miss Pam is like another mom to us. She has turned our personal business, and we turned our personal business to her. And she manages to bring us peace on Monday, and every other day we have group, and she does it by herself. And I just want to thank Miss Pam for that, for serving our city and serving us as young adults. Thank you. And, um, we have two other people right here. Zai and um, Rakeem, y'all stand up. Uh, at this time, I do want to acknowledge uh, any other city officials that are here. If you would just wave your hand again. All city people, raise your hand back there in the back. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, I see a lot of business owners here. Uh, Cedric Russell, um, uh, wave your hand back there in the back. And Miss Minnie Irvin, wave your hand. And uh, Mr. Irvin, my frat brother, wave your hand. Uh, uh, Attorney Patterson right here in the very front. And if I miss any other business owner, just wave your hand. Comrade, Mr. Comrade back there, wave your hand, okay? And again, uh, I want to take this opportunity uh, on behalf of Dr. Vivian H. Burke uh, to thank you all for coming out. One thing I will not do is stand between you and the fried chicken that is over there on that side. So I think that will probably conclude this part of our program. Uh, Dr. Okay, Dr. Burke has one more thing. Okay, Dr. Burke has one more thing. Your children, and I want his children to stand. They're something like my grandchildren. All of them. And I said to Attorney Patterson, of course, Mrs. Patterson is with him, how wonderful it is. And I often tell his story. His mother knew me. That's right. She loved and he, as a little boy growing up, he heard his mother call my name. Wayne had a tough time, single parent, struggling. But Wayne's mother was determined, and what she did for Wayne, it made a difference. Because Wayne struggled trying to get, send himself to school and working hard. And he was talking to me the other day, the two that are in college. Do you have any? We have yeah, one. One. Is one. Yeah. Where's the college for? <coughs> Man. Yeah. Yeah. He's at NC State now. Sophomore. He's at sophomore. sophomore. Very good. Runs track. We're wow. happy. We're happy. And we're grateful. And so Wayne and Mrs. Patterson, you're doing a good job. Thank you. One thing they carry them, like my husband and I, everywhere they go, their children are with them. We used to take our little boy everywhere we went. We wanted him to be right there. Now he's a grown man. And I'm grateful to God that I have a son who understood the importance. And, and I'm going to say one more thing. A few Sundays ago, I was at First Baptist Church. And I said to Naomi, I said, Naomi, the next time Evelina's daughter gives a sermon, I want to be there. And she had First Baptist two Sundays ago, her daughter, Dr. Valerie, and she's a MD doctor, but also a 
minister. And she had her family. And she gave us a sermon. And what did she say? She stayed in church all the time with her mother. It's important.